friends, I am Anika Larson, AKA Green Mom AF, and this is the Broadway vlog to save the planet, where I wanna help you go from feeling helpless and hopeless to helpful and hopeful, which is what the UN Global Goals for Sustainability have done for me. Today, we are gonna talk about goal number 12, responsible consumption and production. Sing it, Gregory. Responsible consumption and production. And here to talk about goal number 12 with us is Broadway costume designer, Greg Barnes. Hi, Greg. Hi, how are you? Okay, Greg, you have designed so many costumes in tons of Broadway shows. I'm going to list all of your Broadway shows for you right now, but I'm going to leave one of them out, oh. and I'm gonna see if you can choose, you can tell me which one it is. Ready? Okay. You can't look at my list. Sideshow, Flower Drum Song, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, The Drowsy Chaperone, To Be or Not To Be, Bye Bye Birdie, Elf Follies, Kinky Boots, Aladdin, Something Rotten, Tuck Everlasting, Mean Girls, Pretty Woman, and Some Like It Hot. <laughs> this is shocking. <laughs> it was Legally Blonde. Oh. Yes, I know. No worries. We all have that problem where we've done so and many I Broadway almost, shows. I was going to so open it with the bend and snap. So I, that's terrible that I forgot that. Ooh, yes, we'll save that for the outtakes. <laughs> the bend and snap coming later. So global goal number 12, Greg. What is the goal of this goal? It is to ensure sustainable consumption and production patterns. Sing it, Gregory. Ensure sustainable consumption and production patterns. Okay, but actually, what does that actually mean? What that means mm -hmm. is that our planet has provided us with an abundance of natural resources, but we haven't utilized them responsibly and currently consume far beyond what our planet can provide. We need to accelerate using and producing in sustainable ways that will reverse the harm that we've inflicted on the planet. Mm -hmm. It's a big ask, but there are lots of people and organizations already engaged in doing this. Yes, that's right, Greg. Okay, so we, where we are right now, is out in Astoria, Queens, at the historic Kaufman Astoria Studios, which is the home of the Theater Development Fund, AKA the TDF Costume Collection, which is doing amazing things in our industry to help achieve goal number 12 and many other goals. Can you please tell everybody what this place is? Uh, the costume collection was uh, established by the Theater Development Fund many, many years ago. I think like 40 years yeah, ago. Yeah, 40 mm -hmm. years ago. And it is a, a place where costumes that are no longer serving a particular purpose get donated mm -hmm. so that other people can access them and use them. Mm -hmm. They that have like 85,000 costumes and accessories here. So if you're a high school in milwaukee mm -hmm. or if you're a broadway show or mm -hmm. if you are just whatever your your current situation is and if you're in need this is a place where you can come and access amazing quality and beautiful garments works of art on a sliding scale so it doesn't matter your budget if you tell them your budget right. they will work with you so everybody that's global goal number 10 reduced inequality so that everyone has access to resources and beauty that's it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so you've been using this place all your life i yeah, imagine yeah. as a designer that's and, right yeah when, when I, uh, I i came here to go to nyu and got a job teaching there in their undergraduate department and they mounted a lot of shows at the undergraduate department mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I sort of had a standing appointment with the costume yeah. collection, and it was just the most magical place. The history, if you're a nerd like I am about costumes, you would seek out who designed this, who wore this. Right. And sometimes I remember they had at the front desk, they had a, a, a bulletin board with mm -hmm. push pin labels that they had taken out. Oh, with and famous there were, people's names? Yeah, <gasps> things from the movies, things mm -hmm. from Broadway, things oh, from... Wow. Bam, high-end, yeah. uh, the Metropolitan I get, Opera. I get giddy when I see the label with my name on a Broadway costume. I can't believe that I won the lottery yeah, and that yeah. I get to have my name in a Broadway costume. Yeah. Not only is it great as a tool to make your show look like it has a bigger budget than it does, right. but it's an education for you yeah. because you're, you're making a, 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 you, trying to create a unified vision out of disparate parts. Mm. So it's, as a designer, it's really an incredible learning tool. Now, on a global level, if we widen the lens out from Queens and we think about some of the targets for this globally, they are... The targets! Sustainably manage and use natural resources. Cut global food waste in half and substantially reduce waste generation. Responsibly manage chemicals and waste. Encourage companies to adopt sustainable practices like reuse, that's the circular economy, baby. 
promote universal understanding of sustainable lifestyles, which is what we're doing today. It is. And support developing countries in moving towards more sustainable patterns of consumption and production. And develop tools to monitor sustainable tourism. Yes. These are big targets, right? And you might be wondering out there what you can do to help. What can I do? Our problems can seem so massive and the solutions to them can seem so overwhelming that we feel powerless, but we are not powerless. There is always something you can do, something you can manage to fit in your life. If we all just keep trying to do the next right thing. Do the next right thing. Together, we can achieve these goals. Yes. We can. Of course, you can always find a Goal 12 charity and give any donation, big or small. You can shop, eat, drink locally. Mm -hmm. You can be conscious of packaging. Mm -hmm. The less, the better. And biodegradable is always better than plastic. Buy secondhand whenever you can and purchase from companies you know don't harm the environment or exploit people or animals. Choose reusable products instead of disposable ones and repair things instead of throwing them out like they do here at the TDF Costume That's Collection. It. That's <laughs> it. And always stay informed and vote. 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 Vote! Alrighty. As always, we end the Broadway vlog to save the planet with... The lightning round. The lightning round! Let's start the clock now. What rich character in a musical would be most likely to give away all their money if they really understood the devastating effects of income inequality? Daddy Warbucks from Annie, the King of Siam from The King and I, Ava Perone from Evita, Benny from Rent, or Captain Von Trapp from The Sound of Music? Daddy Warbucks. What is the most important thing for you to do to regenerate? The thing you need to take care of yourself physically or mentally? Sleep and being surrounded by people I love. Mm. What activist or leader would you most want as your high school costume design teacher? My very dear friend, Kathy Najimy. She is a North Star for me. She's yeah. her politics, her yeah. passion, yeah. her advocacy. Do you love the taste of New York City water as much as I do? I love. If we could generate the power to light Broadway shows through human exertion, would you rather do it by tap dancing, blowing a trombone, or bench pressing ushers? Can I say all of the above? Love. Yes. <laughs> what is the worst survival job you ever had? I worked at Arby's. <laughs> if there was a blackout and you were trapped inside a theater, where would you go to feel the most safe? The wardrobe room. What is the greatest theater city in the world? New York City. Yeah, baby. Who's greener, Elphaba or Greta Thunberg? Ha! Ah, I'm going to go with Greta. Yeah. Which of these invasive species in New York City would you most want to lose in a mixed martial arts battle? Rats, cockroaches, or red spotted lanternflies? I'm going to go with cockroaches. Who has been one of your favorite people to work with in this business? And this is not uh, even somebody I worked with. Yeah. But it was somebody who encouraged me. And yeah. that was the late, great Desmond Healy. Ding! 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 Thank you, Greg. And thank you for watching. My friends, if you are ever feeling down or scared about it all, please know that the climate revolution is a groundswell. It's people working toward shared prosperity on a healthy planet. More and more people every day out there innovating, problem solving, making good trouble, all in the ways that make sense for them and who they are, and you can too. Arthur Ashe said, start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. Let's all just do the next right thing, and together, we are going to make a greener and fairer and more prosperous world.